Hey GearHeads, welcome back to BZB TV. This is Nate out of the Fox Den in our front room and today we're going to be doing a little video on our BG Control app. This is an app that you can download on your iOS devices like an iPad or iPhone and control your cameras over the network. And today we're just going to go do a little setup, uh, what, what it, how it works, what it offers and how you can do that. So let's dive in. So as you can see, we already downloaded the PTZ control app here on our iPad. And number one thing is just to make sure is that your cameras are networked. Uh, go ahead and if you haven't done that yet, we have links to videos that how to network your cameras to your local network, as well as you wanna make sure your iPad that you're using or your iPhone, but for today's example, use an iPad. You wanna make sure it's on the same exact network that your cameras are connected to so they can talk to each other. You wanna make sure this is on the same exact Wi-Fi We've had questions about people that they're not connecting because they thought they were on the right network, but it was actually a different one, like a, maybe a different VLAN or whatever it may be. Uh, so just make sure you're on the same exact network that the cameras are connected to just to make sure that they talk to each other. Um, so let's dive in. I'm going to go ahead and open up the app. And so first things first, let's go ahead and add our first camera. So as you can see, we have cam one here. So all you have to do to add a camera there is just uh, press and hold on it and should open up the options there to add a camera. So as you can see, there's many boxes to fill in. You can put in your name, and to, for today's example, we're gonna be using our BG Adamo camera as well as our BG UPDZ camera. And so we'll just call this Adamo 4K. And then you can add a description there, but uh, we're just gonna skip that for now. I'm gonna put in the IP address. The camera is already networked to our local network. 68.40118. The HTT port will always be filled in for you, so you should be good there. Serial number. Um, so this is the serial number that is on the actual camera. Um, this is, can be found on the BZB sticker that's on the bottom of the camera or on the box that the camera came in. Sorry, non-BZB gear users, this app is not for your camera. It's only for BZB gear cameras. Um, so if you're trying to use it, that is why, hence the serial numbers uh, for, is, for the camera and the app to talk to each other. Uh, just a disclaimer there. So I'm gonna go ahead and put the serial number in. And the serial number is going to be a 10 digit number, all numbers. And then the password and login will both be admin. This is the same as the interface there. And go ahead and hit save and it'll add your camera. As you can see, it just popped right up and we see a camera pointing at me right now. So you can see I can easily move to the left, move to the right, up and down. I've got our little joystick. And then on the right side here, you can see we have our zoom and focus. And to activate that, just got to push it. And it'll turn on, and I could zoom in, zoom out, and then to turn it off, I just push it to focus. Um, right now, it's an auto focus to manual focus. Just go ahead and push the focus button, and you get your far and near, and just pull up or pull down for it to manually focus. And then to activate autofocus again, just go ahead and hit the focus button. And boom, we're back on autofocus. I'm going to pan over here. Um, we got our home position button here. If you push that, I'm going to pan over. And going back to this, uh, the settings uh, cogwheel here, you, this is where you can adjust a lot of things. Here you can see that um, here all the settings that we put in. Um, so on the Damo camera right here, this one has tally lights, so you can actually activate the tally lights here. I want to hit red, as you can see the red turned on, hit green, uh, you can do that as well. So if you have multiple Damo cameras, you can adjust those if you're using for live production. I'm going to turn them, actually I'm going to keep them on green. Okay, here you can go maximum speed settings, you can uh, adjust your maximum pat, you can just you can adjust your pan speed, your tilt speed, as well as zoom speed. So depending on how fast you want to move the camera, you, you're taking care of there. Going on to image and white balance. Um, you got your contrast here. Uh, you can adjust your contrast. You got your brightness. Oh, you, and a drop down for resolution. 
uh, you got you can fix that as well um, or adjust that as well. As you see, this Adamo is a 4K at 60 camera. We're at 1080p right now. So depending on um, what your application is, what your output output uh, device is, you can do that as well, and it can easily switch over. Um, you can check, change your hue, saturation, also white balance. You have some options there, manual. If you hit the manual, I'll give you all the different color temperatures, which you can scroll through and select that, depending on what your environment is, if you need to do some manual adjusting with your white balance. As you can see, it's really blue right now on our picture there. I'm gonna go back and put that on auto, auto white balance, and back to a little more natural white color in our room here. Uh, exposure, here we go. Um, if you want to adjust your exposure, you can do that as well. Your iris, your shutter, and your gain. You can uh, change that as well, depending on your virus, if you need to let a little more light in, um, and that kind of stuff. So there's your settings there. As you can see here, we can set add some presets. This is a fun little part of it. So I'm going to go ahead and zoom in on uh, our TV over there, and then we'll say add preset, and it gives a nice photo. You can name it, preset one, and give it a description. I'll just say TV. Done, hit save, and all you have to do to recall that preset is just tap on that photo. And as you can see, it's moving on over. If I want to add another preset here, oops. I'm going to move maybe another preset over here to, we got our flag back there. As you see, our focus is a little off, so I'm going to put that, oh, it's on the camera right now. I'm going to actually zoom in a little bit. Camera. There we go. As you can see, we have multiple presets now, and then I'm going to just tap on it. You can see it moves and then moves right back. So really easy to do. And as you can see at the top here, we have, you can add up to six cameras and I actually already added uh, as our second camera, the UPDZ camera. So let's go ahead and select that. Gives a second pop up. There we go. And we're back on this one. So are back and now we're in using the UPDZ. So really easy to use. I'm gonna go ahead and zoom in just on the, the wall. Add, add a preset, let's just say wall, save that and then move another preset. And here's a chair. For example, we have a chair, add a preset, chair. And so we got our two presets. Oh, and I already previously set the, the preset speed on the, um, on the on-screen menu of the camera. That's why it's going pretty slow. So I'm actually going to recall the other one. Um, so you can do that on the main screen of the camera itself. On the on-screen, you can adjust the preset speed. So, um, there we go. All right, and another cool feature is, as you see here, you can have, you have this star in the corner of each preset. Those are favorites. So if I have multiple cameras and I have like a favorite angle for each camera, I could do that. So I'm gonna hit star there, as well as the first Adamo preset as well. And then I go to the star here next to the backlight off and hit star and then we got our two our two presets that'll set the cameras up you, so you can uh, recall uh, multiple presets at once for multiple cameras as in this window here so this app's good for all of our IP PTZ cameras anything that could be networked and uh, controlled uh, you can add it to here only BZB gear cameras uh, this is good for the BG UPDZ BG VPDZ BG Adamos that kind of thing all of our like I said all of our PTZ cameras you can add up to six so if you have a big production and uh, multiple cameras you can do that as well uh, so this is a great application it's free just download it straight from our um, just straight in. It's free, just download it straight from the App Store uh, onto your phone or iPad and you should be good to go. So uh, there you have it, GearHeads. Um, so if you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comments below. Uh, love to hear from you. And don't forget to like and subscribe to videos like these so you're notified next time a video like these come out. And don't forget, have a great day.